Let's talk a little bit about mm -hmm. what's going on right now. Moon Jae-in has talked about a softer approach. What would happen to nine years of that hardline policy towards North Korea? Can he bring about this change right away? Of course, he wishes to bring about the change in the traditional the foreign policy, actually, policy towards North Korea of the conservative governments. But actually, there's clear, clear limit for him to achieve his policy goal because actually North Korea has changed substantially. It's not going to cooperate with South Korea, does not want to have a dialogue with South Korea. That's the first case. Second, actually, tone of North Korea policy has been set already by the United States. Maximum engagement and maximum pressure. U.S. is underscoring this is a time for maximum pressure, not engagement. So there's a clear limit. And domestically, actually, the South Korean public has become much con conservative over the years because of the continuous provocation of North Korea. So those three limit actually factors will constrain the Moon Jae-in administration in his desire to achieve reconciliation or revival of sunshine policy very much. Last week, though, we heard President Trump say that he's open to sitting down with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un under the right circumstances. Would that signal a shift from the U.S. administration? I don't think so, because actually U.S. is going to emphasize more pressure rather than dialogue. In principle, the pressure is designed to achieve or open up dialogue with DPRK. Of course, if DPRK actually come to a negotiation table with concrete sign of denuclearization, it's possible for Mr. Trump to sit with Kim Jong-un and talk about this, all other things. But before having any kinds of concrete measures coming from North Korea on nuclear front, it is not possible for President Trump to, to sit with Kim Jong-un and talk about uh, the, all the issues he wants to talk. Does that mean then that the new president, Moon Jae-in, will be at odds with President Trump and the White House? Maybe. I don't think so. It is premature to say that whether Moon Jae-in is going to at odds with President Trump. Actually, uh, actually, last press con uh, briefing, actually, conference, he said that unless there is a concrete progress on nuclear front, he's not going to open up Kaesong and Kim jong -san tourism. So that's a good sign. So there's a clear coordination between the Korean government and also the Trump administration. But actually, we'll see. But maybe they'd like to be more flexible in a uh, humanitarian front. Yeah, I mean, he has even talked about reopening these economic integration projects, mm. such as this uh, gas pipeline that mm. goes through Siberia and South Korea, through North Korea. Mm. Is that even a remote possibility? at this point? I don't think it's possible because actually that is against the, the UN Security Council resolution on North Korea. So I don't, it's a kind of rather long-term grand design, but not immediate policy option he can choose and implement. So actually this the external environment on North Korean nuclear issue, North Korean problem, is not so much favorable for Moon Jae-in to achieve what he calls Sunshine Policy 2.3 or 3.0. Mm. Uh, when it comes to the U.S. that anti-missile system, that's another sore point. Mm -hmm. uh, and Moon Jae-in has uh, talked about, uh, has opposed the installation from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Will he be able, as president, just remove this missile system? Uh, I don't think so, because uh, he will not, he will be met with the strong resistance coming from the conservative side. Actually, for example, the, the opposition, the number one opposition party, the Senuri, I mean the, 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 the Liberal Liberty Korea, yeah, Liberty party. Korea party, is against uh, that kind of move. So, and also, of course, he liked to revisit that decision, but there's a clear constraint. And also, domestically, the uh, Korean public is much supportive toward the deployment of that system on the Korean Peninsula because of this uh, the security concern. And also, the Koreans have become much more concerned with China. Hmm. Since China is imposing economic sanctions unofficially, of course, right? Unofficially, because actually, if we reverse, I mean, the Mr. Moon Jae reversed uh, that decision. That actually, why? What you are doing? Are you actually opting for China or like that? No, so, uh, because the expectation is pretty high right now that with Moon Jae in taking the reins in South Korea, re the relationship with China will improve. Could we expect that? Uh, I'm not that much optimistic about the radical or fast improvement of relations with China because China would wait until South Korea makes some kinds of move on that. On the other hand, South Korea is still waiting some kinds of uh, loosening the economic uh, sanction or pressure from South Korea from China. So kinds of who is going to take the first move is going to be a critical issue. But I don't think it's any, the, I mean, the neither mm. side is ready to take any kinds of uh, gesture 
Will China, though, make a gesture in terms of North Korea? I mean, they did impose that coal ban, mm -hmm. imports, uh, coal imports ban yes. on North Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, will they be able to rein in North Korea as much as the U.S. or South Koreans want? Of course, but actually, there's clear limit for China to change North Korean behavior at the moment, because even though they have adopted a tougher sanction vis-a-vis -vis North Korea, North Korea has not changed much at all. So maybe it is going to be very much difficult for China to go ahead uh, with uh, kinds of change of its policy from tough line to soft line. So maybe there's a clear limit, because this is the game between the U.S. and DPRK at the moment, China in the middle. Who's winning this game? At this point of time, I can say the United States but in why? a position. Because actually, U.S., by simply saying, oh, I'm going to send Carl Vinson to Korean Peninsula, actually that created a different mood on the Korean Peninsula. That actually has made China to move along with the UN Security Council resolution on North Korean sanctions very much. So it is not China. It is the United States who can change the game and also the rules of game as well. So not the China. China is following what the U.S. has been asking mm -hmm. for the first time. When it comes to North Korea, though, we keep seeing a repetition of behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any signs that they're changing at this point in time just quickly? You mean the North Korea? North Korea. I have not seen any kinds of sign of change mm -hmm. from North Korea. Rather, they go the, the other way around, going for more tension, uh, raising tensions and provoking the other parties. Of course, they are going, I don't know when they are going to do nuclear tests or missile tests. Mm. They will be contemplating those two options very seriously.